every day there are more and more blockchains, so you need to make sure your token doesn't get left behind. Axelar's Interchain Token Service lets you easily create new tokens and upgrade existing tokens with Interchain superpowers. In this video, we're going to be taking a custom token and making it available on many blockchains. Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade an existing ERC20 token into an Interchain token you can send from one blockchain to another. We'll start off by taking a look at the portal for the Interchain Token Service. We'll provide the address of an existing token and choose where we want to deploy it, and then show off some of the things that are going on behind the scenes. Let's go ahead and dive in. We are starting off today with an existing ERC-20 on the BNB chain testnet. So we can see this is called the My Upgrade Token. It's got a maximum total supply of 1,000 MUT. And this is a fixed, very simplified ERC-20 that we do not have the permission to change the minter. We don't have permission to burn this token, et cetera. And so in order to get this token onto other blockchains, we're going to be using what we call a lock unlock strategy, where this token on the source chain will be locked when it's being sent to another chain. And when it's being sent back, it will be released, which doesn't require any additional permissions on your ERC-20. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to be diving into the Interchain Token Service portal. You can visit the mainnet version on interchain.axelar.dev, but we're going to be spending a lot of today on the testnet version, which is testnet.interchain.axelar.dev. So all you need to get started is the address of your token. So we'll go ahead and copy that address, and we will paste it into the interface. The Interchain Token Service is going to see that token. We see it's a My Upgrade Token, MUT, 18 decimal places. And now we're going to start the registration process. We can just register this token directly on the source chain, which then registers it with the Interchain Token Service so it knows how and where to lock and unlock that. Or we can immediately choose to deploy this to a bunch of different blockchains. And so what we will do is we'll go ahead and just choose a few different blockchains here. Now that we've chosen a few different blockchains, we can see that this registration and deployment to those three additional chains is going to cost us about 0 0.03 BNB in fees. So we'll just go ahead and hit register and deploy on four different chains, and we will approve the transaction in our wallet. We can go ahead and ignore this error. And it looks like our token was deployed successfully. So we can visit the token page now and monitor the progress. Uh, this will also give us the ability to register our token on additional chains uh, if we want to bring our token more places. So on each of the destination chains, we are now sending a GMP message, which will execute on the destination chain via the Interchain Token Service and create that ERC-20 in all those different places. And so if I send one token from BNB chain to Sepolia, for example, it will lock that on the BNB chain in the Interchain Token Service and mint one token on Sepolia. If I then send one token from Sepolia over to Mantle, it will then burn it on Sepolia, mint it on Mantle. If I send it back to the original BNB chain, it will then burn on the source chain and then release it on the BNB chain. If we're curious on the progress of these GMP messages, we can go ahead and view any of these on Axler Scan. And so what Axler Scan will show us is that it's the network has confirmed that this happened on the source chain. And now it's going to go ahead and deliver that message on the destination chain. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here. Uh, but as soon as that message has been executed on all the destination chains, we should be able to refresh this interface and see all of those chains as registered for this token. For example, we can see that our token has been registered on Mantle. And you'll notice that while the address on all of the destination chains are going to be identical, because they're all created via the Interchain Token Service, uh, they are not going to match the originating token because the originating token was created by someone else. But now I can use this interface to go ahead and transfer. Let's imagine I want to transfer 100 over to Mantle. I can go ahead and confirm this Interchain transaction. It will lock that 100 tokens on BNB chain, and then it will make it available on Mantle via minting. And again, we can wait around for the message to be delivered on the destination chain and take a look at what happened. There's going to be an approved transaction and a send transaction. And as always, if we're curious about the process, we can follow along the entire tokens journey on Axler Scan. All right, it looks like our 100 tokens have been delivered onto Mantle, and we can see those updated balances. And if we switch our wallet over to the correct chain, we can send those tokens anywhere we want to. So in this demo, we've seen how 
ridiculously simple it is to get a wrapped version of any token that exists that matches the ERC-20 spec available on multiple chains with built-in methods for transferring back and forth. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.